Hi everyone, so this is a quick how-to for my simple show. So on the assignment, you're gonna wanna start by clicking on under step two, my simple show. Click where it says click here. From there, it's gonna take you to this website. Then go ahead and click make a video for free. You're going to click sign up with Google. And for you, it'll ask you to join, you click yes, and whatever it asks you, just go ahead and do it. For me, I already have an account, so it'll go in automatically. Then it should take you to this home page. If it doesn't, then just go ahead and click my videos. Then go ahead and click create new video. And please title it theme in what of this goldfish by, and then you are going to write your name. Okay, but I'll go ahead and write mine. So you will write your first and your last name. Then click write your own script. From here, scroll down, click blank template. And from here, you're gonna go ahead and start creating your short clip. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is your title. So your title is the same thing that you title the project itself. So title it theme in what of this goldfish by and then your name and then down below so that was your title that's what's going to show and appear in your story then you're actually going to write the main part of your little clip so what i want you to include here will be the message. So the message of what are this goldfish, you're going to include there. So I'm gonna go back to the assignment. You're gonna go ahead and write your message here. So whatever you wrote here is what you're gonna use. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the example that I gave you all, which is above. But again, you're gonna pull your answer that is located here. So you're literally just gonna come, take it, paste it, and you got that good to go. So now you can move on to the end screen. So this is simply what do you want it to say at the end. You could say something like thank you, or you could say something such as, such as, you can just kind of wrap it up. And that is the message regarding selflessness. for what of this goldfish. Something to just kind of wrap it up, right? Now, you're gonna go ahead and start choosing your visuals. So it might take a little while, but it'll show up here. So I just wanna go ahead and show you a little bit about what this does. So what it did now is it split it up. You still have your title screen. But now your story is split up into little sections. So it took what you wrote and it split it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the little features in this little section here. So if you notice, it took some of the words that you wrote and it created images to represent those words. So for, so for example, message, it, it is showing that little like envelope as the message. Goldfish is showing a fish in a bowl. Tells is that little speech bubble. Sergey gave us a little image for that character. And then wishes is that little, I guess, thought bubble. And then to help. It didn't give us an image for to help, but if we click on it, it actually does give us one. And we can even choose another one, right? So I actually like that one, so I'm gonna keep it. So let's say you don't like one of these images, like this one as the message of the story is a little strange, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it by clicking the X. And let's say you want to move some of these things around, right, like they're all a little jumbled. Well, what you can do is go ahead and click Arrange Images, and now you can actually move them around to where you want them to go, that way they're in order. Then click Submit up here. And let's say you want to change one of these images, like this one here for wishes, I don't necessarily like. So you can click on it and you can actually see if you can find anything else. 
So let's say you wish for like a bottle, right? Because maybe you're thinking of like a genie in a bottle or maybe just the word genie itself if anything appears or just like the word wish or maybe like a candle because you wish on a candle, right? Like a birthday cake. That might be a little image you want to select. And then let's say for Sergey, let's say you want him to look a little differently. Well, then you can click on it. It doesn't look like it lets us search. So what we can do is we can actually just go ahead and click this arrow and different options appear. So you can choose any of those options. Let's say I just end up clicking this guy here, right? And Sergey's older, so you might want to choose the older gentleman. And you can even add your own. So let's say for the word message, I want to include something. What if I literally just want the word message itself, right? So you would click here, the little ABC, then literally just write the word message. You can even change the font a little bit. It just has a few options. And then maybe you want to underline it or message, right? Then click submit. So you can actually have words on there as well. It doesn't need to be a picture. So let's fix this up again. Let's say for tells, I just kind of want to organize it so it's not, so they're not, you know, overlapping each other. That's what's right over there. So let's say I'm done. So pretend that I did that for all of these, right? Sveta and her son, there's kind of a little image there. So let's pretend that you got this all done. Then you're going to go ahead and also select, you know, the closing frame. You just go ahead and click like that one there. That can be the very last frame. Then choose audio. So pretending that you were all done and you chose your little images. Now for audio, it says here that your options are pretty much just Paul is the option. So Paul's voice will go ahead and read it. And it doesn't look like we can record our own voice, so that's okay. Paul the Little Robot is going to be reading our voice. You can also choose the speed of how fast they read. Slow, fast, we can just leave it as medium. Music, we don't need, we don't want to upgrade. So let's go ahead and let's see here, record, upload. So we are stuck with Paul, that's okay. Then go ahead and click play video. So now it's going to go ahead and prepare it. So this might take a little while. It just kind of depends how long yours is. Theme in what? Here it is. Of this goldfish by Mrs. Valenzuela. The message in what of this goldfish tells readers we should all be selfless, just as Sergey ended up being unselfish when he used all of his wishes to help others. Excellent. When he cured his sister and Sveta's son, and even when he brought Yoni back to life, he was acting selfless and put his own desire. And so you guys get the picture. So notice how it just reads it for you and it provides some visuals. That's exactly what you're going to do also. So I would just go ahead and click finalize video. That way it publishes the video. And da -da 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 -da. We don't need to do any of these, so just go ahead and click continue and finalize video now. And now it's going to go ahead and actually publish it. So in this part might take a while. It says that they're going to notify you via mail to let you know that it's ready to go. So you can actually go ahead and close your browser if you want to, or you can just go ahead and leave it there. Once it is here, like once it's posted, it is important for you to come back. To this page that says export or publish your email will also have a link or just leave this tab open okay because you will need to publish it and post it on google classroom you need to submit it so i can grade you okay so for now that's it